Dick Whittington and his wonderful cat, page 35, 36. Tony, go ahead. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago in England, there lived a simple or friend for a land. <coughs> this waiting town both of his parents had died. He was com- completely, 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 and totally, totally <coughs> alone. He had no relative, relative, relative to care for him for a time. Six tried. tried to manage, manage the farm that was left. To him, but he was not old enough or <coughs> strong enough. The fences broke down, and the animals ran away to find food. The garden grew choked, choked with weed. There was not a place. Bite. Bite of food to eat. One day, Dick decided that he had better go to London. There, he would look for some kind of a job. So he set of walking down the road. He knew London was a great distance away. He wasn't sure he would ever get there. But he didn't know what else to do. Hour after hour, he gravely trudged along. Then in the day he stopped to make a little camp for himself under a tree. An another, another traveler, traveler was <coughs> already there. He was a thin man was gri- with grizzled with grizzled hair. He seemed a rock character. character, but he spoke he said pleasantly. He said pleasantly. pleasantly. He offered take some bread from his knapsack. Yeah. So you're on your way to London, are you? Asked the man. Yes, sir, we replied. replied Dick. I must go to the city to find a job and make my way in the world. Oh, you're like Loudon, said the man smiling. It is a mar- marvelous. marvelous city. There are tall buildings and fancy people. Some say the tree- streets are paved with gold. gold. One more day's work, and you will be there. This head was still out of dress that night. In his dress, he wandered the streets of a wonderful city, picking golden coins from between the Pablo strong when he awoke in the morning. He was on, on his feet. He was on his way. On his feet. feet in a flash. He bid his, his companion. His companion goodbye and barely came down the road. Page. 
Alright, go. I'll take it. Second. Alright, the sun was setting. The sun was setting when Dick Richly reached the outskirts of the city. He flew to He fell. He fell to his knees and began to scrape scrap at the pavement. pavement. He hoped to see the shine of God. Or he found or he found or he found for his trouble was called some trouble was dirt. He was very hungry he asked the people in the street were a really boy must find work. The people pushed, pushed him away without listening. 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 They were not inter interested. Interested in the question of a red, ragged, ragged, dirty boy. This was discouraged. Discouraged. Cold. And the tired to find a doorway in an only alley. alley out of the wind. wind. He curled up, curled up and cried. cried himself to sleep. Sometime later, take a walk with a stop. The sky was coming down. He Heard. heard the sound of blood falls approaching over the cobblestone. He set up his heart, raising a large shaft, carrying a large lantern. Lantern appeared out of the room. Oh, what's this? Boom, boom. A loud voice. The lantern was close, 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 close to Dick's face. Frightened. Frightened. He he scooted. He scooted deeper into the doorway. Don't be scared, lad. Said the big voice. I'm not going to hurt you. Hurt you. Hurt you. The voice belonged to, to the merchant. Mar merchant whose doorway Dick had chosen. chosen for his net. The man took a closer look at the sh shivering, shivering voice. 